Yo, yo, guys and dolls, welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, if you're old school, you should know what we're on by now, otherwise you've got some issues. If you're new, go please check some of our other videos in the um, playlists. Not right now though, watch this one first. We're in no rush, grab yourself a brew. Drink, drink deep upon the group, on the brew, and then go, go watch some videos later on. So basically, if you are a new guitar player, should you buy a valve amp or should you buy multi effects? When there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. So guys, this is quite possibly the biggest question that any guitar player will ever ask himself, and or indeed will continue to ask himself for the rest of his career, or her career, because we are purchasers, it's what we do, we buy and we hunt and we think the grass is greener. So, let's look at some real basic, balls out, pros and cons to each system. So the amp I'm going to be using in the, I don't know whether this is the left or the right corner, but whatever corner that is on your screen, is going to be a Laney GH30R head. It's 500 quid, it's a 500 pound head, it's 30 watts, it's twin channel, and it's all tube, and it sounds beast, okay? In the other corner, we have got the Helix HX Stomp, 410 quid, little bit cheaper, but comparable um, so the head comes in at 500 the stomp comes in at 400 so they're very comparable to that type of thing but they do both need it well kind of possibly might need an additional speaker so if you add 300 pounds to each of those that covers your speaker cost as well okay so far first let's hit the hit the amp whenever you hear anyone talk about amps it's valves, valves sound great, valve amps are the future, I don't want anything but valves, valve this, valve that, right, okay, valves are brill, valves are it, valves are the sound of a guitar, but we have pros and cons to that, okay, so let's look at the first pro for, and I've wrote this down, I've been proper, like, I've scripted and everything, and I've even changed the colour of the pen, so I'm, I'm proper prepared for this one, right, okay, so con, no, sorry, Pro 1, Valve Tone, Valve Tone, when you hear ACDC, there isn't a modeler in sight, it's all crunchy valve amps, whenever you hear the best guitar players in the world, the chances are they're using a valve amp, because they can, okay, because the cons are negated by fame, <laughs> when you're just a guy and you just need an amp, the, the cons are going to come into the fore a little bit more, but anyway, valve tones, man, that's where it's at, valves are so good, the best emulators in the world sound like valves, so why not just get a valve, or a tube as they're known in the States, okay, so, big one, tubes, it's got tubes in it, sound like guitar, that's what tubes do, make it sound great, okay, the second one is, they are really, really easy to use, fizzy wog, wazzy geg, Gears ago, Jabadell, what you see is what you get, whatever that spells. You plug your guitar lead into the front, you play with the buttons, then it sounds great. You play with the buttons and it sounds different, and you literally, what you do is what you get out, um, which is brilliant. So that is a great plus for an amp. You plonk it on a cab, a, a, a speaker, you plug in, and you play and it is what you want. If it's not bassy enough, you put bass in. It's very, very intuitive because it's what you see is what you get. Okay, great, that's a great uh, plus for an amp. Three, you can add your own effects, uh, whether that be delays and reverbs and distortion pedals and overdrives and phases and wah -wahs and flanges and blah, 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 and you make that whole amp your rig. Okay, it becomes your signature sound. You can get amps from, you can get pedals from different companies. You can just go grab and grab and grab and grab and grab and you can make your own custom sound. Brilliant. Choice is good. And the choice is then limited. You buy a pedal. It does what the pedal does. You use it. Absolutely brilliant. Okay. And, or you can just go and get a head and you just plunk the head on the rig and you're good to go. Brilliant, easy money. Or you get a rig and a pedal board and you've got your own custom sound. Relatively easy, but the sound is the number one. Valve amps just sound brilliant, or at least this one does. And so do my baby girls, my RTX, my RTs. They sound fucking awesome as well. Okay, so valves sound great. The cons to owning a valve amp, 
okay first one maintenance okay valves require maintenance they do degrade over time and they can break relatively easy if you store your amp in a van like this the valves can shake loose if you go from a really hot room to a really cold room they can break yada 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 treat your valves like tiny baby ducks okay look after them wrap them in cotton wool okay and they also need to change every now and again and that ideally is best on best done by a trained valve technician so you get them biased and you get them all set up right you've got to buy the right ones there's a minefield they're so expensive if you want a good one do the good ones sound better than the cheap ones uh, it becomes very complicated maintenance is a big problem two tone is affected by volume now if you guys are like me and you show up at a venue and you crank your amps and you get the sound guy saying no it's too loud that's the problem with valve amps they're just too freaking loud and there is valve amps out there that have got attenuators so you can drop the volume down but they do sound different valves sound better cranked it's just the way it is okay so the tone is affected by volume and volume is an issue in live failing use at the minute the heavy majority of the time the big old boys these girls weigh a ton the 30 is a little bit smaller and i've got an sls irt sls that's a tiny weight that can fit in the backpack that is a great little amp but that's us dealing with the future that's us dealing with some of these problems but the sls is kind of like that's the happy middle ground that does pretty much everything and it's great so heavy problem limited tones you've got two or three channels on your amp some amps have only got one you've got a limited amount you can do with that because you don't halfway through a show you don't want to be going and cranking your mids so that's a problem you can fire and forget but that's great that's part of a, 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 a pro but for a con you're limited to what you've got then without adding pedals you do need a cabinet which we've mentioned at the top um and the loudest fuck we've mentioned that as well really loud like loud at af really really bad um, issues with recording if you've got a valve amp in a studio you now need a load box because you've got to be putting it into a cabinet to record and if you need it beans to, to sound great you're going to blow your neighbor's roof off so you've literally got to be really mindful about recording valve amps as well even with the di some of them they need a load box so that's an additional cost for a load box to record at home even, even with the di um unless you've got a really cool studio where you can just crank and or really cool neighbors um, so apartment playing not so great for valve amps uh, and you have to add effects if you want delays and reverbs you're gonna have to buy them separately but that is also a pro because you want to be able to choose your stuff right okay so that's valve amps Whew, it's all about the tone all about the tone with the valve amps okay so the helix um, stomp or any other modeler little modeler Okay, one straight away size, small, fit in a backpack, fit in your guitar case, absolutely brilliant, fly them anywhere, D they're just boss. The deadline, not heavy at all, fucking awesome. Okay, you get any amp you want, they're absolutely brilliant. You can download custom amps from different people, it's all dead good, you can tweak to your heart's content, and you can save that in any state into a preset. Very, very cool, okay? So any effects, any amp you want, I believe that any effects, another plus, any effect you want, it's built in with the cost. Um, and the volume thing doesn't apply to modelers. If you tell your modeler to be full volume within the preset, you can turn the master volume down and it still sounds like it balls out at speaky whisper volume. Brilliant. You must be thinking already that I'm swaying towards multi-effects. Well, you never know. Okay really easy to set up if you are computer literate commas brackets if you are computer literate if you're not mm, can be an issue okay so um then you've got i wish people would just stop texting me right now the problem with computers i wouldn't be getting letters right now or carry a pigeon so easy to set up and download custom tones so you can go online you can download people's presets that's dead handy because you can share amongst the community and that's really good you can do that with photographs if you've taken a photograph of the front of your amp you get that but two amps sound different these two girls are exactly the same they sound completely different sometimes valves just are a little bit hit and miss um, and 
with modelers super easy to record they are digital so you plug them in via usb and it becomes your audio interface for your computer it sounds brilliant you can mess about with it you can record a direct clean signal and then add effects later on it they're just the way to go for recording unless you've got these additional extra bits of gubbins and then valve amps are the way to go because they do sound better they do sound better okay so here's the cons for the little boy sound it isn't as good as a tube amp it isn't they don't feel the same they're getting close oh they're getting so close but i know i'm playing a valve amp i become more expressive i become more dynamic um but that's my personal experience some people prefer modelers some people prefer valve amps they will near a modeler it's entirely up to you remember this is all subjective so sound is not as good but it's getting damn close um, and also computer literacy if you buy one of these products you do have to have a computer to plug it into you have to update the firmware you have to figure out how to put the presets in there's a learning curve it's not fezzy was a gogawag it's not the same as what we had with the pepper dabba dagger dong the what you see is what you get okay and the last con which could be seen as a pro if you're into this type of shit is option overload option paralysis when you buy a pedal that has got any amp you want, any effect you want, any cabinet you want, any mic you want, the ability to record with it, you're, it's everything in the world in one tiny case, you're going to go crazy, you're going to get option paralysis. Now if you're a beginner, that's going to be crazy. So what I would suggest with the modeler is go with the custom presets, go with the presets first, find a tone that you like. Maybe download the tone from the, the tone share or whatever the chosen company you've gone with has and download an amp and just play, play more and then slowly learn how to use the product rather than sitting there for six months tweaking and not playing guitar. You still want to be playing guitar. Okay, pros, cons, pros, cons. They're all in front here. Now it's your job. You need to go into the comment section below and you need to wax lyrical about your experience with valve amps and with multi-effects we want this i want this video to be the definitive index for beginners and professionals alike to come and read through our comments and go do you know what now i'm going to make a decision it's going to be almost like a textbook it's like that book that they find in um american pie yeah it's just like the book to get chicks this is what we want but it's the book to buy amps it's like am i going to be an amp or am i going to be a modeler let's let's commune about it i'll drop in every now and again let you know what i'm all about but keep watching the channel and you'll know what i'm about so videos coming up will be how to get the best sound out of an amp how to get the best sound out of a modeler blah 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 anyway this has gone on long enough read the pros and cons what do you guys think hit me up in the comment section below let me know what you feel i'll chime in let everyone know let's 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 guide guide some people suddenly i've just gone dead windy poppy i don't know what that's all about anyway we'll get you in the next one see you soon